Insights dashboards within Element 451 not only give you the data that you need, but they also help you visualize what's going on with that data and where things are going. Whenever you think of analytics, whenever you think of data and insights, what you really need to be thinking about is how can we continue to put the student first and at the center of these processes. So now with insights, you can make better informed decisions that are student centered all across the student journey, however that journey looks. So you can go in and build and look at these purpose built reports that are customized based off what you need and set up during your managed implementation with your customer success lead at Element 451. But let's take a little bit of a deeper dive into insights. So taking a look here, you'll be able to see a few things, some year over year statistics there. So what do the prospects look like compared to fall of 2021? And then the same thing for applications, admits, deposits, and enrollments. So this is really going to show you these funnel insights and help you be able to compare those. What's really great about these dashboards, though, is it's built over AWS. And so you'll be able to see that you can customize all of this data within the analytics dashboard. So insights will let you change what active term, what student type, and if you want a big, broad look at all this data, fantastic. You can look at it all. However, if you don't, and you just want to look at the freshman data, then you select freshman and it's going to go live in real time, analyze all the data that lives in Element, and now you'll be able to see everything for just the freshmen that come in here. So that really is a helpful tool to be able to take a broad look at everything or just narrow down and look at things specifically. Same thing with territory information and individual counselors if you're wanting to look at specific data related to a particular counselor or major. Continuing on here, you'll see we also have some point in time comparisons. So the funnel tables here, so they're going to show you all of this information here. And if you look down to the tabular funnel reports, you'll see again, on top of the filtering that we can do at the top, you can see that even go down to some iPads data here. And if you want to see, take a look at the information specifically for that iPads race and ethnicity, as soon as you click it, it's going to go in and adjust all these numbers up here as well. So fully customizable and interactive with every single group here. And you can drill that down however you would like to drill that down. So that's looking at Asian and freshmen together. So you want to unselect that and you just click it again and it takes it off and adjust those numbers once again. So continuing down the line here, you'll be able to see things like multi-term application comparison. So how did the applications come in over term and see that visualized with these beautiful tables. And again, everything in here is completely interactive as well. So continuing on, Funnel goals. So this is going to take all the data that lives in Element and all the data that whenever you start with Element, bring in all that historical data, the three to five years of historical data that we will help you bring in, in your implementation and analyze all of that data and show what those funnel goals are. Element's analyzing all of that to show you what your goals are. However, if those do need to be increased, you can also increase those numbers here. Maybe the deposit goal needs to be a little bit higher. So you go over and you make those adjustments and that reflects over there on those graphs right there showing those. And you, again, you're able to scroll down here and drill down to see what those goals are for each territory, student type, et cetera, or adjust those controls up here at the top. So if you're specifically wanting to look at the goal for a particular counselor, you can do that up here. So things like funnel forecast, Maybe you want to look at your source analysis. So taking a look at the sources, how things came in, how those performed, and how it relates to prospects, applicants, and people who actually went down and got enrolled. Smart segments. So this is a cool one. So it really gives that big, that nice visual look of how a student came in through a source or maybe an engagement model for what their engagement score was and where they ended up. But if you take a look here, if they came in through Raise Me, it'll break it down. Okay, how many of those people became prospects, admits, applicants, enrollments, deposits? And so you can see that visualize right here, which is actually a really cool visualization of that. 
And of course, we have email analytics. How would be a student engagement CRM without email analytics? So it'll break down based off these different campaigns and communications and give you the different statistics there, whether it's for delivered, open, unique opens, click rate, unique click rates, so on and so forth. So you'll be able to get all of that data there as it relates to email analytics. Events. You have to be able to look at these events so you can manage and gauge what is your ROI for these events that you're throwing. Are you putting in a lot of money for one event? And what's going on with that event? Or how many people are you getting to enroll that have attended that event? So where is that coming in? So you're not just looking at things like who registered for the event and ultimately who attended, but you're taking that and seeing they registered, attended, but how many ended up enrolling? So we can see this event, the preparing for college fair did really well in regards to how many students ended up enrolling compared to how many people were registered for the event. So that's an event you keep going because it's yielding those results, but you'll have others where 20 registrations, 20 people attended, but it looks like it kind of stopped at the prospect level, didn't really go past there. So we might want to reevaluate what we're doing there with that event. So it really gives you that insight to see what's impactful, what's not impactful. And then you have things like page views where you can go through and look at all the pages here and look at those unique page views. You can look at the page views timeline over time, what was the unique events that have occurred over time and where those spikes were, what happened during those times and evaluate that. And then you have this heat map here also showing you that information and data. And last but certainly not least, I know a lot of what we just looked at was pertaining to looking at the student, what the student is doing and having that real student-centered approach to our data analytics. But it's very, very important that we also take a look at the, this internal dashboard for internal management. So you can identify those bottlenecks that, you're, that may be occurring on a day-to-day -day basis with your team. So you can look at things like task trends, how many tasks were created, how many were completed on time, I and mean, just like the other dashboards, you can go up here and adjust the dates that it's looking at this data. So maybe you notice production was down a little bit this past month. So you look at the month of September and you look at this data and you can narrow down based off of individual staff members or based off the entire team. Where was that bottleneck? And you can look at the different tabs here and see the different breakdowns and really the visualizations of that data, apart from just showing you the numbers of where that was, what was going on, who it was going on with, task averages, things like that. So very, very useful data. Element 451 does a phenomenal job of showcasing all of the data that we're collecting, whether it be through forms or the applications or tracking the activity of the student or even any data that you're bringing in from another source. And we take that data and we put it all together. So now Element is becoming the single source for all of your marketing, admissions, enrollment data, all of your data for alumni. How's, how are things going with retention? And you're able to really analyze what's going on with these students and how to look at this data, figure out the problems, figure out what you're doing good, figure out what you're doing bad, and now take action on it. Um, we love insights over here. Super excited for you to get your hands on it and how it impacts your school. Have a great one.